Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clip it in OBS, save it on your computer, and then go on to edit it on your computer and then post it on TikTok. Something similar to Tim the Tatman or myself. Make sure you watch the full video just in case if you miss a step or something, it's gonna be hard to catch up onto it back. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Before I start, I'd like to thank all the members of the channel and the recent donors. As I've already said this in the last video, you, are, you guys are the reason I am able to do what I like to do. So thank you, let's get into it. Drown my sorrows in this bottle. Okay, so first things first, you have to have OBS installed, you know, go into your OBS, go into your settings, and I'm gonna show you some settings right here. So first of all, in general, you wanna go down here and click automatically start replay buffer. Make sure it's uh, selected. So every time you click start streaming or start recording, it's automatically starting the replay buffer where you can clip the videos. Next, you're gonna go into output tabs, you're gonna go into recording, and um, here, as you can see in my recording settings, I have 90,000 kilobytes per second bitrate for recording max quality, high profile, look ahead, psychovision tuning, max B frames four. I have these settings so high because when I clip the video, I want it to be as high quality as possible because after editing, after uploading it on TikTok, the quality goes down and down. So you wanna make sure you get the best quality possible. Then you're gonna go to enable replay buffer and make sure this is checked on. Maximum replay time. I have set mine to 30 seconds because uh, usually I don't get into fight longer than 30 seconds. I usually just give up by the time if the fight is longer than 30 seconds. <laughs> Anyways, you can make it to one minute, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, depending how much of the clip you wanna record. Like when you press a button, you wanna clip it, right? And depends how long you wanna clip it for. So you can make it a minute, 30 seconds, 45, depending on your computer too. As you can say, it says estimated memory usage is 322 MB, that's your RAM. So let's say if you have 16 gigabyte of RAM, like 322 MB is always going for the replay buffer. So you can change it to like, let's say one minute or something. Uh, and you can see it says 644. So yeah, up to you. I always set it uh, set it to 30 seconds, but you can just play around with it. Click apply and then go to hotkeys. If you scroll down a little, you'll see replay buffer and then save replay. Like this is the hotkey you wanna set that as soon as you wanna clip something, you wanna press a button and it'll just record the video, record that clip right there and then you know save it on your computer. Mine is F12 because I don't use F12 for anything else. So use a button which you don't use for anything else. So let's say you're running, playing around, whatnot. You clip something like you shoot, so you get a good clip or something and you want to save right away. I press F12 and it saves the video on my computer. So you can just set this to anything you want, whatever is comfortable to you. Press apply and then go and then you are done in OBS. I forgot to show you one more uh, step to do. Like if you're in output, like go to output and go to recording and then recording path, like mine is set up to desktop is where your clip will be saved. So make sure you you play around with that and pay, uh, put it where you want the video to be saved as soon as you clip it. Now all you have to do is every time you go into the game and you're playing and you hit a sick uh, clip or something, if you hit a sick snipe or something and you want to clip it right there, all you have to do is press F12 or whatever button you have set up and it's going to save the video clip of high quality of one minute or 30 seconds or whatever is the time you have set. So. Let's move forward. So now on the screen right here, I have two clips I uh, recorded or clipped in yesterday's stream. Like I'm just gonna edit this one right here. So now go to your, you know, like your editing software, either it's uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, Filmora, Sony Vegas, whatever it is. I personally use Filmora more for this, but uh, you can just use whatever you want. Like, so first things first, you're gonna import the clip you just took. So uh, this was the clip right here, and then I'm gonna just import it. I'm gonna bring the clip to the timeline. Now in Premiere Pro and Sony Vegas, these are like two different things. Like you have to make a project, right? You have to start a project and they ask you, is the project 1920 by 1080? Is it a 4K project? What kind of project is, right? So you need to edit that project settings. And instead of mine is like 1440p right now. So instead of that, you have to set it to, 1080x 1920. It's not 1920 by 1080, it's actually the opposite. So that's like the exact portrait mode for um, a TikTok. So you're gonna press OK and look, it literally looks like you know a portrait mode like it's on TikTok. So you added the clip, you add the clip on um, your timeline, but you don't add it once, you add it twice. 
So you add another clip on top of it. Now pick a clip. I'll take the top clip right here and I'm going to go on to crop it. I'm going to crop the face cam. So that's how the face cam is going to look. I'm going to drag the face cam. I'm going to take it to top of the screen and I'm going to go to the second clip. I'm going to bring it down and I'm just going to like expand it. So the face cam kind of disappears. Now from these two clips, you can actually mute one of them. I'm usually, I usually just mute the one with the gameplay. So my face cam doesn't mess around. If you press play, you'll see that they are in sync. Oh, behind behind us behind us car car coming car pushing us Pushing us, pushing us. Now you edit the clip however you want. Now I trim the video however I liked, however I wanted it to clip. It's only a 12, 12 second clip now. And now you can add text on it. You can add graphics to it, whatever you like. That's totally up to you. And then you simply export and then you exp export it to the max quality, like settings, best, make sure everything is maxed out. Okay. And export and boom, you have the TikTok clip just like Tim the Tadman or myself or any of these other TikTokers you see. Uh, they're everybody's usually kind of doing the same method and that's all there is to it This is how you clip it in OBS and then go on to post on TikTok like clips like your favorite TikTokers If you like to check out my clips or anything you can always follow me on TikTok is J. I would love the support if you aren't subscribed already make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications as I go live every single day You can come in you can join up. Uh, I've been doing a lot of wars on customs lately So yeah, join up play with us, you know have some fun sniper only vehicles only all kind of game modes We need some good people that being said it's your boy Jay Take care, peace out. See you later. Clip your how to clip your games, how to clip it, how to clip it in OBS, save it to your computer, and then go on to edit it for your TikTok. Drown my sorrows in this bottle, won't like waking up tomorrow.